One of the most important things um, for modding is to have a multimeter, not just for testing voltages and uh, resistance of resistors, but also for continuity. That's the thing I find most useful with these. It's not often I need to use the voltage testing, but uh, I do have to use the continuity an awful lot. So consequently, I have this one, it's quite a cheap one, but it has this little symbol here, which shows that you have an audio output rather than just a reading. Um, I don't know the reasons, I'm not uh, particularly into electronics, but I do know that you can get readings on here, um, quite high readings sometimes, without actually having continuity. In other words, one pin of something connecting to another via a trace um, directly it can be that um, it's going through other parts of the circuits which make it um, connect, but it's not a proper continuity. So that's why it's very useful to have a beep. Um, so, you of course have this lying around in your desk, you've got sort of fairly short cables, it gets in the way of everything else. That's okay as far as it goes, um, but I do find after a period of time that, um, you know, the ends of these don't work, and alright, I've done a bit of a bodgy soldering thing on this, but they, they've done me good stead so far. But one of the annoyances is that the sounds that these makes are quite quiet. Um, so if you're trying to play any music, you probably can't hear the beep. I mean, this is this typical volume with, you know, quite, quite, uh, quite new batteries in there. It's not too bad. So what I did is I bought a very cheap uh, multimeter, car boot cell. I think I paid about two pound for it. And um, although the voltage and nothing else seems to work on it, the one thing that does work is the continuity. So what I've done as a start on a project is to connect some quite long wires, bearing in mind that it keeps it off my desk. And um, what I want to do is to have a nice loud beep. Now, that of course is a speaker. Nothing particularly great about it at all. And the volume that you get is not particularly loud. Same sort of thing, really. So what I have discovered, though, it sounds a bit... Um, amateurish but hey it works if you put something on like a old used plastic top in its place listen to the volume difference now that is perfectly loud in fact you almost need to talk over it so what I'm going to do is just to tape the speaker to the back of this keep it out of the way so it's not uh, looking ugly and obvious um, Take this securely to part of my uh, overhand desk. I mean, for example, it can go up here, keep it out of the way, and then all I have are these wires sticking down, which I can use as I require to. So, what I'll end up with this is something that's not on my desk permanently, with wires tricks and getting in the way of everything else. I'm going to change the battery to a normal power supply because of course these don't last forever and it's quite easy to forget to uh, turn the unit off, particularly when it's like this. And um, why well, as I said that I can um, just let drapes over the desk and use them uh, in a variety of positions. So, very basic little project, but the ultimate thing is to make this nice and loud. Decided while I was at it that I'd, um, I'd make a new rod. So, this is what I've ended up with, using a plastic tube very strong one. Um, this wire, which of course is about three or four feet long, which I'm using for the rods, a thicker piece because that needs to go through the tube and not be so flexible. Um, I then tinned at the end of this, pushed it through the wire, super glued at the end so that this rod stays in place, and then used two lengths of shrink tube, these two, uh, the small one at the back so that when I put the large one on it will stand a chance of holding itself in place. I've ended up now with a very easy to use and um, very useful free rod for the multimeter. Let's go and do the other one and then drop down. Very simple process to wire this up to a little adapter and I mean frankly one of these as they are lasts for I think about two or three days on continuously with this so it just shows um, it probably only uses about five milliamps um, if that so it doesn't really matter leaving it uh, plugged in permanently into power it probably costs less 
for um, a whole year's worth of use on one of these by itself to be quite frank anyway we're going to connect that up soon but in the interim the little speaker has been super glued onto the back of this little plastic cup I think it came off the top of shaving foam or something I can't remember now it doesn't matter it was just lying around in the bin and I thought oh that'd be useful the um, rods of course have both been made and um, just before we put it into its final resting place and of course get the connection for the uh, for the for the mains power I'm just going to show this works there we are pretty conclusive so here's the end result nice and loud connected to mains on 8 volts actually 8 volt volts worked absolutely fine as it turned out put it into a little plastic box um, the speaker's been hot glued into place um, because these wires had a tendency otherwise to break free I'll sort the wiring out later on, there's no, no rush with that but these wires are now perfectly long enough to go from one end of my desk through to the other and therefore I only need to use this old one now just purely for voltage and for uh, resistors so job done, nice and neat, good result cost two pounds, <coughs> just a little fun project but it's something I've been um, been meaning to do for some time now.